by song goes round the world with the London Theatre Orchestra, leader Reginald Leopold, conducted by Kenneth Alwyn, with B.C. Hilliam, Flotsam, and this week's star, Kenneth MacDonald. Changing of the Guard by Flotsam, a song which everybody, of course, associates with Flotsam and Jetsam. But why did you choose this as the first song in your program, Kenneth? Well, it was the first song I ever sang on the stage. That was when you were six, I believe. Yes, that's right. Was this in Scotland? I was born in the Western Isles, in fact, in Iona, but my family moved to London when I was two years old. My mother kept a press cutting after I sang that song that said I was destined for a career as a sergeant major. Oh, but it hasn't worked out quite that way, has it? No, it certainly hasn't. As I've just said, I became very interested in singing at an early age. One day a friend left a collection of Caruso records in the house, which I played over and over again. And as a child, I used to queue outside Sadler's Wells Theatre to get into the gallery. But in spite of your going to the opera at Sadler's Wells as often as possible, your serious study at that time was the violin, wasn't it? Yes. But after a long period of study, my violin teacher became a little embarrassed at my continual paying of fees, as he felt I would never make the grade as a top violinist. So he therefore seized on the fact that I could do very good impersonations of singers and encouraged me to take up singing professionally. These impersonations seemed to go down extremely well, so I took my violin tutor's advice and went to the Guildhall School of Music to study singing and to learn some of the operatic roles. One of these roles I studied was that of Cavaradossi in Tosca, although I didn't sing it professionally until many years later.
At the end of your college days, you were about to become a professional singer. Is there any song that you particularly associate with this change? Yes. This one which I sang at a concert at the Lord Mayor's Prize Giving at Mansion House. Love Went to Riding by Frank Bridge, accompanied by Edward Rubach. And now, Kenneth, as a professional, what then? In 1946, I joined Covent Garden. In fact, I was the youngest member of the company. An aria I sang at the audition which led to my engagement at the Opera House was one from a relatively unknown opera by Donizetti. And I remember it made a big impression on a visiting conductor who happened to be in the theatre at the time. Which aria is this? Uh, Pepe's aria from Rita. And it's called Gay as a Lark. Gay and so long, a 
bachelor gay, I'll sing all day. La, la, la. stay at Covent Garden? Only for three years. I wanted to gain more varied stage experience, so I joined a light opera company with summer shows thrown in. And during one of these, I worked with B.C. Hilliam, who was so important to me at the beginning of my career. Little did I realize then that one day I would have the great pleasure of seeing him as a guest on this program. And I'd like to sing this song that he wrote for me on the occasion of a previous broadcast collaboration. Good. Well, now let's hear, with Flotsam himself on the piano, My Life Was a Play Without Music. There comes a time when a man feels that he should, if he can, burst into song. I may be wrong, for it depends, does it not, upon the voice he has got and what he sees. Among other things I only know that it's true That when I'd fallen for you I started spending my time In search of rhythm and rhyme I was surprised I realized How days had dragged along Without you in life without a single song of love a string of words without a melody above no sweet love strain as least supremely planned it no lever strum how could we stand it song of Greeks to make love's declaration to cry for me I love but thee no starring voice to thrill my soul at night with heart's delight and no to say I love you 
whatever should we do? I don't know. Now, Kenneth, back to your story. Well, I was in the Light Opera Company for three years, ending with a season of Merry England at the London Coliseum. But surely it's rather a big jump from the style of Merry England to the Elephant Song, which I see is next on the programme. Yes, I suppose it is, really. But it happens to be a song which I enjoy singing very much and find relaxing, and one which goes down very well with audiences of all kinds on Sunday night shows and concerts, cabarets, which form another side of my singing career. Well, I'm sure we'll enjoy it too. So let's hear now the Elephant Song by Donald Swan. An elephant's life is tedious, laborious and slow. I've been an elephant all my life, so I blooming well ought to know. He never forgets a name or face. He knows his way from place to place. Oh, remembers to be dutiful and when to push and when to pull. And when he's dead, the dealer calls and buys his tusks for billiard balls. Oh, and all because an elephant's got a perfect memory. That wasn't the life for me. So I'm suffering from amnesia. My mind's a perfect blank. Now life is very much easier. Amnesia's to thank. I'm being psychoanalyzed. I lie on a divan and flap me ears and try to look as balmy as I can. I'm an introverted, elephant-centric hypochondriac, and I'll stick in the elephant's nursing home till I get me memory back. I'm suffering from hysteria. I nearly split me sides to watch the others get wearier of giving the children rides. I've told my psychoanalyst that I'm a sacred cow. I'd like to carry a howder, but I can't remember how. I'm an introverted, elephant-centric hypochondriac, and I'll stick in the elephant's nursing home till I get me memory back. I suffer from schizophrenia, it comes on me in spells. Sometimes I'm king of Armenia, at others I'm Orson Welles. I've told them I'm Napoleon and all that sort of bunk. They never guess that all the time I'm laughing up me trunk. I'm an introverted, elephant-centric hypochondriac, and I'll stick in the elephant's nursing home. Till I get me memory back. Tra tiddly tum ti tum ti tra tiddly tum. Practicing me trumpet half the night. And I'll stick in the elephant's nursing home till I get me memory. Get me memory. Get me memory. The Elephant Song, and at the piano was Edward Rubach. 
Well, we've almost reached the present day with your recent return to Covent Garden and your next song from Benjamin Britten's opera, Albert Herring, which takes us back to your main love, opera. Yes, I sang this first at Oldborough Festival, then at Sattler's Wells, and recently with the English Opera Company, we went to Russia, giving performances of Albert Herring in Moscow, Leningrad, and Riga, and always in English. And, of course, you took the title role of Albert from the Greengrocers, who's been chosen as the local May King. And in the drunk scene, the shy and retiring Albert is returning home after the May Day celebrations, having lost all his inhibitions as a result of drinking lemonade, which has been strongly laced with rum. Oh, the 
taste of that lemonade. Wonder how it's made. Nancy knows, I suppose. Nancy will know. Pretty name, Nancy. Pretty name. Why did she stare each time I looked up at her? Why was she watching whenever I turned of a sudden? Nancy, why did she blush? No, she belongs to Sid, not me. We never talked or walked lightheartedly through the woods, nor shall the like and see. Girls don't care for chaps like me. I'm too shy to reply entertainingly when they Sounds like seed serenading under her window, impatient at waiting, impatiently aching to take Nancy chasing love and adventure. Sid doesn't suffer from shyness, timidity, gets what he wants by directness, simplicity, aims at his target with shameless audacity, trades on the fact of his ruthless tenacity. The Drunk Scene from Albert Herring by Benjamin Britten. And incidentally, Kenneth has just got back this morning from visits to the Vienna State Opera and Sweden, where he's been performing another of Britain's works, The Serenade. And now, Kenneth, we come to your last song. Yes, and I would like this to be one which is not associated with any particular part of my life, but is just one of my personal favorites. Love Could I Only Tell Thee. <laughs>
Jones, My Song Goes Round the World, featuring Kenneth MacDonald. His guest was B.C. Hilliam, Flotsam, and the London Theatre Orchestra, leader Reginald Leopold, was conducted by Kenneth Alwyn.